What is a special trade? What is it? You probably, some of y'all already know this, but some of y'all don't know. So, what is a special trade? Pokemon Go, what is a special trade? Special trades can greatly benefit Pokemon Go players who want the best Pokemon around the world. And here's how to get started. But before we get started, I'm going to have to talk about those links. So, if I don't go over something or if there's links in this article, you can go into the uh, description and click the link in the description for this article, uh, for other articles and everything because there might be uh links and uh, you might want to click those if you want to find more interesting stuff or maybe you want to go over it yourself and see what are special traits so uh continuing on to the link in the description the other one would be the link for my discord i do have i do sell cheap coins i do sell raid passes i do sell items if you want to know how it's done you can go to the link in the description uh, and go to the coin shop guide Camelot shop guide and it's right below the coin shop you can find out how it's done um, you can I always update it uh, not on a daily basis but maybe every so often I will update uh, maybe to help you out, help you out even more maybe y'all give me some uh, information like some information to put into like maybe if you're asked a question or something like that so you you can always ask the question there you don't have to ask it in the in the uh in the comment section you don't have to ask me all the time like how it's done you can always go to the link in the description um if you want to buy something you can buy something you don't want to buy something you don't have to buy something uh, i don't uh it's not forced uh you don't have to be there just for the coins you can come and show up um each of these shops have their own promo, so you'll get an extra 500 coins on your first purchase unless you have bought a membership or a subscription uh, to uh, my YouTube and or Twitch channel, which basically you either have to have either one. You don't have to have both, and they're really cheap. They're not that expensive, like usually like 99 cents or uh, maybe like a 199 maybe for uh, Twitch. So yeah, that's it for that information, guys. Remember, the links will be in the description. Let's dig, dig right deep into what are special trades. I'm going to be doing a lot of these because uh, a lot of people don't know this. So maybe it'll be in the back burner, but it'll, uh, it'll be at the end of the at the end of this video, there'll probably be a playlist. There'll, there'll be a, definitely a playlist so that you can look at all the guides that you need to look at if you want to do that. Among the many discoveries and mechanics of Pokemon Go, some players may be a tad confused or completely unaware of a special trade. There's a lot to learn for Pokemon Go. Players, if they want to be very, be the very best, not one that, that no one ever was. <laughs> Just like the song says, I want to be the very best. So if they want to be the very best, that no one ever was, then they then they best get to learning about Pokemon Go and the special trade that will they will see them not a neat reward, net a re neat reward. <clears throat> Players can't enter this adventure alone. As fun as it may be to run around the real world collecting Pokemon all of all different varieties on Pokemon Go. They will need they will need a friend or an internet ally to help them begin the journey to a special trade. Listed below is a is all the intels of special trade in Pokemon Go. <clears throat> Basically, you need to hang out with somebody in your actual community, and because since they haven't added global trading, you need somebody actually in your community, or you can just move to that area. And right here, they're showing you a special trade. It is between, and it looks like best friends. Could be best friends. I think that's best friends. Uh, cause that's, that's a lot less Stardust. And it's a special trade because you, you only get Relicant in, in New Zealand, I think, right? It could be Australia, but I think it's New, in New Zealand only. And then, of course, Heracross is around the the caribbean north in the south more like in mexico and stuff like that so 
It's the only way you can get a Heracross. It's in few spots around. I don't know where, like, but yeah. A special trade involves two Pokemon Go players that consist that consent to trade a Pokemon in a special trade. Players will uh, have cheaper options when it comes to rare Pokemon. This means that players will be spending far less Stardust than they would outside a special trade. Yeah, the special trade is expensive. <clears throat> Especially when it comes to... Well, uh, all special trades are either legendaries, shinies, or... They'll probably tell you right there, but... They're legendary, shinies, and... Or something that you have never gotten be had before. It's always a great benefit to players to try and save up to a special trade. As each friendship level with another player will see players reduce the total cost of Stardust. However, it can take months of trading gifts to other players before the best friend status is unleashed. unleashed. So the special trade is truly the best thing for Pokemon Go players. They want to get the very uh, best Pokemon from their buddies or to gift them out. Give them out. Like sometimes uh, your friend wants to give out your be their best one. What is a special? What makes a special Pokemon? There are many ways to in which a Pokemon can be special, and that does not mean the Pokemon has a personal connection to the player. Like if the trainer has a per preference over uh, Machop, Machamp, or Pikachu, instead of. Uh, Instead, a special Pokemon would be one of four things. And I think I already mentioned, th I think three. Th I didn't know there was four. Undiscovered Pokemon. Well, uh, there are over 777 Pokemon that players can catch in Pokemon Go. 777. That's a lot of Pokemon. Many of the these are locked to specific regions considering players cannot ex exactly fly over the world literally catching them all a special trade is the next best thing a special trait a special pokemon could very well not be in the decks of the player that currently wants it hence the uh, absurd price of starters outside a special trade. The next uh, category would be for a special trade would be legendary Pokemon. Perhaps the rarest of the list legendary Pokemon are very well sought out after. Legendary Pokemon are uh, farmed and extremely rare. Are, no, are famed and are extremely rare. There's only ever one kind of this Pokemon in each of the main games in the Pokemon series. There are many uh, exotic legendary Pokemon that can be found in Pokemon Go. However, unlike others, they can only be claimed from specific quest or waiting for each new legendary raid each week and month in the hopes of obtaining them all considering the amount and difficulty of legendary pokemon a special trade could well be worth the commitment especially since multiple pokemon trainers will have difficult uh, have different legendary pokemon to trade the next group is shiny Pokemon, which, oh man, um, I, I wish this was traded like uh, unfriended, <clears throat> but it's not. They want you to trade less shiny Pokemon. They don't want you to trade with any nilly Pokemon, shiny Pokemon. They want you to, they want po shiny Pokemon to be rare and not to be like traded willy nilly like crazy because of community day. People will have like abundance of shinies. And if they make it easy to trade shinies, 
then um, they wouldn't like that. <clears throat> Outside of legendary Pokemon, shiny Pokemon are probably the rarest of them all. The chance to find one of these is extremely rare, and most players love to brag and show off their shiny. There are some amazing shiny Pokemon that ran, uh, that can be found, but the odds are entirely random. Players will just need to click with each Pokemon in the hopes of getting lucky. However, a special trade means that players that do not yet have said shiny Pokemon can claim it at a reduced price, but only if the owner said Pokemon of said Pokemon is willing to part with it. Unknown Pokemon forms. Oh, that's this is another one. Oh, okay, this is a, the fourth one. Lastly, Poke players can expect the benefit of special trades when it comes to Pokemon that have rare forms like the unknown type Pokemon, which uh, consist of numbers and alphabet Pokemon. However, the more sought out, uh, sought after and rare Pokemon are those that exist specifically for events and seasons, like the different variations of Pikachu that wear multiple and adorable hats that have Pikachus. Pikachu wearing a hat could rain, uh, range from Ash's cap to a sunflower crown. It's always cute and worth a trade to get one of the one of these adorable Pokemon. How to make a trade? Okay, to make a trade, players will need to find someone to make a friend. This can either be done in person or by using the action online community on various forms of servers. Once uh, players add each other with their friend code, they can trade gifts and with each other once per day to increase their relationship. By increasing the friendship level and acquiring enough Stardust, players can trade in a multitude of different ways to exchange their prized Pokemon for the common goal of, of, uh, of collecting. Players can either physically meet each other to be within trade range or they can use the online service to trade remotely. Players will then sit on a trading screen where they can put their Pokemon up for trade. The trade will only go through if both parties agree to it. So there is no tr uh, trolling uh, involved. To make a special trade in Pokemon Go, players need to make friends and can only perform this function, uh, this action once per day. This special trade is on a countdown for several reasons, but players can often expect Pokemon Go uh, Fest to feature multiple special trades throughout the days. Players should keep a, uh, should keep uh, aware that to trade with trainers, the players must be level 10 or above. This is because some players may have hacked uh, previously vulnerable devices to claim Pokemon and will before they should have. Pokemon Go is available for Android and iOS. You see what it says right here? The player must be level 10 or above. This is because some players may have hacked previously vulnerable, vulnerable devices to claim Pokemon well before they should have. That's why it's at 10. Well, that's probably what they told the uh, this website and everybody else that that's why it's only at 10 and not at 1 or at the beginning. 
So make it harder to get that trade. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Make sure to smash that like button, smash the subscribe button, ring the bell for notification, share the video, put your thoughts in the comment section, and don't forget about uh, the links that I mentioned before. They'll be in the description. If you want to join the Discord, if you want to read this article, links will be in the description. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.